Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a game review, and uh, this time around it's a game that I've never even heard of really. Um, I saw it on sale for a uh, pound at a certain pound shop, and uh, I thought I'd give it a go really. It, it was a pound, I thought, you can't really go wrong. It could even be the worst game I've ever brought for a pound, or it could be the best game I've ever brought. Um, it's bearable, to say the least. It's okay. Um, it's not great. And that game in question is Arcania Gothic 4. So there we go. And uh, yeah, I brought it. I thought I'd give it a go, uh, review it, see if it's any good. Uh, to say the least, Arcania Gothic 4 is not the greatest game ever made. Um, the graphics are okay. If you like nice sunsets, then you know, you'll like this game. Jumping, you, you seem to jump and you, you seem to float for a long time. Uh, running gets a bit awkward. Uh, the controls do get a bit confusing. It seems like there's two buttons to draw your weapons. Uh, being a, a sword and a shield, and there seems to be two buttons to do that for some reason. Um, talking to people, uh, the mouth will stop moving, and yet they'll still be talking. Uh, the storyline just seems like a bit of a quest, sort of. Uh, go here, you know, get a few items, bring it back to me. Uh, we do a little something and then you can get a ring and propose to your girlfriend who just happens to be pregnant and who just happens to be the daughter of the king of the kingdom. Uh, there are mythical sort of creatures and monsters and goblins and all that sort of creatures. In all honesty I got to about the fourth level of levelling up my character. Uh, I got stuck. Something about going into a dark forest. In all honesty it's not the greatest game. I kind of want to get past that one bit of thinking where am I, I'm lost, what do I do, um, I want to get past there, however uh, this is kind of one of those games that are cheap, um, I don't mind playing it, however there are better games out there that I want to play, there are games on my shelf collecting dust that I would rather want to play than this, uh, I kind of see it as though it's like a poor man's Skyrim, so if you're really stuck and you can't afford Skyrim, which is probably like a tenner now, I don't know, uh, then Arcania Gothic 4 is the one for you. I've never heard of the game before. Like I said, I brought it in a certain pound shop for the advertised price, and I thought, why not? It's either going to be really good or really shit. Uh, it's bearable. It's not a great game, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's kind of one of them. An Xbox game for a pound. Why not? So, uh, yeah, that was my pretty quick review of a reasonable, bearable, passable, uh, poor man's Skyrim sort of game. Um, if you've got one, two and three and you like the previous titles and you might like it. If you like Skyrim and you want a really, really cheap game um, and you can find it for cheap, then this one's for you, really. But... Thanks for watching my review of Arcania Gothic 4. Hope you enjoy it. Kind of. Uh, thanks for watching. Also guys, check out We The Devoted. Links are down below as per usual. Any items that you buy, use promo code TOBYWTD. Gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items. Links down below as per usual, guys. New items are coming out for them very soon, so go check them out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my review of uh, Poor Man's Skyrim. Hope you like it. Games, yeah. If you can find it for a pound, then you might really enjoy it. But yeah, Arcania Gothic 4. Maybe like my view. Thank you very much.